Yeah, greetings, Saman for Ghana for a shop for for. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. If you're bored, the right just messenger way, you know, I represent or I pass through once again. I'm out for each day, why? Each day. I come day outside, say, Charlie, make a helicopter small. Yeah, make air blow my body small, Charlie, because you hit the inside. And as a day outside, yeah, I just want to call this video small. You know, this is still, you know, about this video or message I want to put out there is about the Fix the Country campaign. And I want, you know, talk say, look, Fix the Country campaign or hashtag Fix the Country is not targeted against Nana Akufu Ado and his government. I'm out for no. You know, if you don't know, you know, fix the country campaign is one campaign in Ghana that is being directed at the current government, you know, to, you know, fix the country Ghana. And it was started on social media by a group of youths. And I'm out for some notable personalities, you know, celebrities and you know movie actors got involved as well among four the whole lot got involved someone like Ophia Odo came to give her her support for fix the country campaign Ophia Odo is an actress as far as I'm concerned and among four the team they say are they here here or are they see comments memes out there that you know 90 percent of those who support fix the country campaign are ndc supporters you see but i want to set the record straight that's why i'm doing this video i want to make things clear you know that look to me righteous messenger fix the country campaign is not related to ndc or mpp or any party you understand it's quite unfortunate that this is the country campaign or hashtag has arisen or come up during the time of, you know, Nana Akufuado and his MPP regime or government. But to be honest with you, they are not the ones that are being targeted. You know, where is it like the youths or the citizens of the country want a better life? Amount for is basically about that. Some of the issues being raised, you know, by this fix the country campaign is the high cost of living. You know, high cost of living is high cost of living, or the cost of living if it keeps rising up. Amount for if you are the government in power, you are the one who's going to be blamed, or you are the one who's going to be asked to do something about it. Yeah, so it's not that. MPP and Akufu Ado's government are being targeted with fix the fix the country campaign. No, I'm out for the citizens, you know, the, the the youths on the streets, the ordinary man, you know, who voted for you, you know, to become a minister, to become a president, become a leader of some sort are crying out loud and say that look we put you in there because we want a better life we put you in there because you know we want you to you know manage the affairs of the state you know so that the country back can become a better place for all of us i'm on for free the country campaign is geared towards the betterment of our country for are they like i already mentioned the cost of living always going high the prices of fuel petrol going up all the time prices of what do you call it transportation going up all the time you know prices of food going up all the time i'm out for bills going up all the time you know rents or prices on accommodation if there's any at all i'm out for you see the thing is uh, where are the regulations 
that have to be put in place so that the the ordinary citizens can have a comfortable life as well because obviously to me you know the way i see this this the hike in prices do not affect uh, the, 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 the elites or you know uh, people in high places people in government amount for we put them there and amount for it's like they have these privileges yeah luxurious cars comfortable accommodation but the minute they get there they forget about the ordinary man on the on the streets or the ordinary woman on the streets yeah and this is what we are crying that it has to change the citizens as well have to enjoy from the resources you know or from the coffers of the state not only you know the politician this is what fix the country campaign is about we want our roads to be fixed we want every each and every single road in Ghana to be asphalted you know asphalted i hope i'm i'm right you know or be to be constructed they need to be construction the roads need to be constructed properly the broken ones need to be fixed look at the rural communities especially the north they don't have clean or potable water you know and we saying that ghana is it's been independent since it's, it's been independent since when since 64 four years ago 65 years ago you know i'm out for why are we still living in poverty other countries got their independence at the same time or even after us and they are doing well mm? i'm out for and the thing that you know even bothers me anytime you come out and you say these things the mpp gurus the spokespeople of the mpp will come out you know delivering big 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 english big jargons you know just to defend themselves i want for because if you see the thing one one man what's his name professor bafo ajimandia he is the Chief Executive of uh, the uh, uh, J.A. Kufour Foundation, one of the former presidents of Ghana on the ticket of MPP, John Ajekum Kufour Foundation. This, you know, Bafo Ajimandria is a Chief Executive of that. And he is coming out and saying that, oh, even though there are problems in the country and fix the country campaign is you know been devised to to deal with the problems in the country he's saying that fix the country campaign or hashtag fix the country is myopic i'm over do you understand myopic uh, off my head or off head myopic means short-sighted or narrow-minded how can you know Bafo Ajimandria come and tell us that Free the Country campaign is myopic because Charlie, his belly is full. He has, you know, a luxurious, uncomfortable life. He has somewhere to lay his head. He has a car to move up and down. You know, is he really thinking about the ordinary man on the streets? How can you say Free the Country campaign is myopic? How can you say fix the country campaign is narrow-minded? Do you know poor Kigami of Rwanda? Look at the short time he's used to, you know, change the plight of that country, Rwanda. Look at Rwanda today. It's one of, of, of you know, the countries being spoken about in Africa. You know, and, you know, a lot of African countries are looking at Rwanda as a model, you know, for development and progress of, you know, other African countries, or their countries. Look at Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed Al Matum, you know, I saw an interview and he, he was being questioned on, look, why are you doing these things too quickly in Dubai? Why is Dubai developing too quickly? 
He said, look, I want my people to have a better, good quality life now. What's stopping our, our leaders or our president of giving us a good quality life now? What's stopping him? We are telling you that this, we are saying it to uh, this, you know, uh, 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 is myopic. Charlie, if anything is myopic, I think you, Bafo Jan, sorry, you, Bafo Ajman, you are, you are the one who is narrow minded. Because you've got it all, you know, when the, 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 the ordinary citizen or the youth on the streets are crying out loud for a better life as well, you know, crying out for, for employment so we can. You know, you know, you know, make money to have a better life, to, to, to you know, provide for our, our daily needs, look after ourselves, our families. You're saying it's myopic. Ah, so are you gonna say for Gami of Rwanda is myopic? Basically, look at look at the short term that is used to develop and make his country progress. Oh, for a few years ago, Rwanda was you know known as a, a genocide you know whatever state they were killing themselves and that today look at rwanda everyone is using rwanda as an example for how african countries to progress and develop need to progress and develop so this uh, uh bar for uh Ajimandri, are you going to tell me sheikh mohammed al matum is myopic narrow-minded or short-sighted Because he wants these people to have a better life now. Oh, Charlie, but for man, drop it. Don't come, don't come annoy me. You don't come annoy me, cry. Because Charlie, I don't know you, but I read this news about you on Ghana Web. You know, and Ghana Web is saying that you are saying that people crying out loud for free the country, you know, are a myopic, Charlie. You no know, make you no know, make I can't insult you. I beg you, you know, because this, this is what I talk here. Even though Charlie, I don't make the effort to set up my studio and that, you know, it's quite a serious issue. The country must be fixed. You know, it's not MPP, it's not NDC agenda. You know, we're crying out for the betterment of our country. We want the roads to be fixed. You know, we want doom so to go. You know, we want employment for the youths. You know, we want the citizens to have you know a good quality or high quality life. I'm out for look at our mothers and our grandmothers who have to go to Makola and put a small table down and put tomato or some you know vegetables there to sell just to be able to look after their kids at school, just to be able to look after their families. Somebody who is living such a life, if he's crying for better, how can that person be classified as myopic or short-sighted? Mm. My forage mind, be, behave yourself, behave yourself, you know. Behave yourself over there and stop the fooling. Yeah? Professor Bafo asking for a better life and asking the government to deliver is not myopic. Nanado, he promised one district, one factory, you know, he did beg. You know, if we do that, he did go, go about in expensive or, you know, 15 pound hour, 15,000 pound hour private just to go and beg for debt cancellation. When he's saying that Africa or our country is rich, but because of mismanagement, we are poor. You see? These will be the things we talk about. If you can't come and free the country, don't come and give us empty promises just because you want to come into power. It's not about NDC, it's not about MPP. We are we, we, we are requesting or we are looking for a third force that can, you know, help the country. NDC and MPP have had enough time and they haven't been able to deliver in my view or in my eyes. Yes, a month for. So basically, this video is about NDC, MPP, you know, and free the country. It's not about NDC or it's not about MPP. It's not related to them at all. You understand? We want the betterment of our country. 
and that's why we did do these videos that's why we did cry out loud to the country and you know i'm out for that boy i can't do this video if you're born the righteous messenger and i'm out for thank you for viewing like comment share subscribe i will see you for the next video peace bye bye